This is Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Wednesday, March 28, 2012. The Wall Street Journal reports MF Global Chairman and Chief Executive John Corzine was in direct contact with J.P. Morgan Chase officials about a large transfer of customer funds to the bank shortly before the securities firms collapsed. This is according to prepared testimony from a J.P. Morgan lawyer for a House subcommittee hearing taking place today. The testimony by Diane Genova, Deputy General Counsel for J.P. Morgan, provides additional details about a transfer of $175 million in MF Global customer funds to a J.P. Morgan account on October 28th. That move is the subject of scrutiny as investigators hunt for clues about how MF Global lost about $1.6 billion in customer funds. The Wall Street Journal also reports Goldman Sachs agreed to change its board structure in order to persuade a union pension fund to drop a shareholder proposal that could have cost Chief Executive Lloyd Blankfein his job as chairman. The union had claimed stripping Mr. Blankfein of his chairman powers would help Goldman repair its reputation and reduce the potential for conflict of interest. Goldman shareholders voted down a similar proposal in 2010 by a wide margin. Imagine. Reuters reports a group spearheaded by former basketball great Magic Johnson agreed to buy the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team for a record $2 billion. Team owner Frank McCourt announced on Tuesday capping a two-year drama that started with McCourt's divorce and wound its way through bankruptcy court. Finally, Reuters reports Mark Zuckerberg wants at least $5 billion from Wall Street investors, but those investors will not be getting much face time in return. The Facebook co-founder and CEO made that clear when he skipped the social networking company's first major briefing for analysts and bankers last week. The meeting was the first of many that will take place in the run-up to an IPO that could value the company at close to $100 billion. The company has not yet publicly stated whether Zuckerberg will participate in the pre-IPO investor roadshow or on the quarterly earnings conference calls after the company becomes publicly listed. Facebook declined to comment on Zuckerberg's expected level of involvement with Wall Street. I'm Daria Shabat with CorporateProfile.com reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial news.